guys welcome back to my channel so today I have this spring be inspired makeup tutorial so I hope you all enjoy and let's get started So first of all, I'm going to start off with my eyebrows. I'm going to go in with this NYX Micro Brow Pencil. And I think it's in the shade Chocolate, but I'm not 100% sure. I can't remember. But everything will be listed in the description down below. So I'm just going to start with drawing a line across the bottom. And I just draw a line across the top. And then fill out the middle part and the end of my eyebrow. And then at the front of my eyebrow, just flick it up to make it a nice gradient. And that's it. So to set my eyebrows in place, I'm going to go in with this Rimmel Brow This Way Eyebrow Gel in medium brown and just brush through my brows like usual. So to prime my eyelids and to cover up my eyebrows, I'm going in with this NYX HD Concealer. I'm just popping it all over my eyelids using a tiny little brush to carve up my eyebrows. I'm putting cell tape as well so I can have a really nice straight line and what I'll do is I'll go in with my uh, makeup sponge and make sure it's all blended out. So I'm going in with the Maybelline The Nude eyeshadow palette and what I'm going to do is take that really light colour and just set my eyelid just so I can have a nice space for blending in all the eyeshadows later. So I'm going to take this black eyeshadow on a tiny little brush and I'm going to actually mark out where I want the wing of the eyeshadow to be because this look is kind of like a cut crease but kind of not at the exact same time. So I'm just taking it above my crease and just winging it out and that will be where I'm going to place the eyeshadow later. So I'm going to take the concealer once again and I'm actually going to use this to carve out the front of my eyelid just so I know where to place the colours. I'm going to connect it with the black and the same thing again, it's like doing a cut crease. I'm going to put it above my eyelid so when I do open my eyes you can see a little bit as well. So I'm going to take that gold shade, I'm going to heavily pack this at the beginning of my eyelid straight on top of that concealer. So the concealer is there to really make sure it's stuck down and I want to pack it really heavily just so it's really pigmented. So I'm going to take this bronze eyeshadow and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in the centre of my eyelid and this is going to help blend between the nice golden shade at the beginning of my eyelid and the black shade that I'm going to use at the end of my eyelid to create that wing. So I'm now taking the black eyeshadow and I'm just going to place it in that space where I've created the wing and all I'm going to do is just pack it in and then I'll be blending the different colours together so you'll see me going in from like the bronzy shade to the black shade to the golden shade to the bronze and back and forth oh it's just a lot of blending but it's definitely worth it in the end. So I'm just taking this white shimmery shade and all I'm going to be doing is highlighting my brow bone with this colour and then I'm actually going to be doing like, not a wing eyeliner but I'm going to be going in with some eyeliner and I'll be going in with the Maybelline eyeliner and I'm just going to create a line just at the top just so when I put eyelashes on it kind of disguises it a little bit. So now I'm going in with this number 7 Stay Perfect Eyeliner and I'm just putting that in my tight line and then I'm going to be sticking on some eyelashes and they're just from Primark, I'm not sure what they're called, I don't have them anymore, they're just ones from Primark, any eyelashes will do. So 
So for mascara, I'm going in with this L'Oreal Telescope Mascara and we're just blending in my normal eyelashes with the fake light lashes and that's the eye done. So for foundation, I'm going to be using the Maybelline Fit Me Matte and Portless Foundation and I'm in the stage 250 and I'm just going to put some on my face and then blend it out with a makeup sponge. So now I'm going in with the NYX HD Concealer once again and I'm going to be highlighting under my eyes, on my forehead, down the bridge of my nose, my cupid's bow and my chin. So to break under my eyes, I'm going to be going in with this real match perfection loose powder it's in the shade translucent and I dab down my creases first and then I'm just setting it with my makeup sponge again and I'm kind of baking but kind of not baking at the same time. Now I'm going in with this Maybelline Fit Me powder in 220 and I'm just going to be using this powder to set the rest of my face. So to bronze and contour, I'm going to be going in with my Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm taking it on this Eco Tools brush and I'm just putting it on my cheeks, around my forehead, down by my jawline and my um, neck and chin and all that and down my nose as well. So for my blush and my highlighter, I'm going in with this beautiful Becca like highlighter and blusher combination. I can't remember what it's called again, but I will leave it down below. I didn't really have my highlighting brush available at this point, so I literally used a paddle brush to put my highlighter on. And oh my god, this intense highlighter is giving me life right now. I love it so much. So now I'm going to set my face with the L'Oreal Impalable Setting Spray. So now for lips, I'm going to be going in with this Tanya Burr Cosmetics lipstick. And this is just one I got out of our advent calendar. I think it's such a beautiful red. It's got some shimmers in it too, which is absolutely gorgeous. So now to finish off for the eyes, I'm just going to be going in with this eyeliner again and I'm putting it in my waterline from outer corner to inner corner and I'm also going to be putting it in like just a little bit lower than my lashes and what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and just smudge it out really. So at first I'm just take a little brush and just smudge it out as best as I can and then I'm going to be going in with another brush and smudging that out. And then I'll be going back in with that black eyeshadow and smudging it out for like the last time. So now I'm going back in with that gold shade and I'm just going to put that 
in the inner corner of my eyes and that is the video finished guys i really hope you all enjoyed it don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already and please like this video you can also subscribe to me or follow me on all my other social medias to instagram twitter and facebook so thanks again for watching i'll see you again later bye guys